Hey guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I'm here at, in Buffalo, New York at the Rich, Richard Olison Complex, also known as the Hotel Henry or as the Buffalo State Hospital. Now this is an old Kirkbride Asylum um, in Buffalo, New York. And um, after it became abandoned, they transformed part of it, part over there where you can see some lights on in the windows, into a hotel. Um, I believe it's about a third of it that's a hotel now. And the rest is abandoned. They still want to renovate all of it, but of course that takes time and money. So I'm going to do a quick outside walk of the abandoned parts into the normal hotel part. And possibly back around. Um, so starting off here at what seems to be the edge of the Kirkbride. Now this is definitely added in at some later point. You can tell because of the brick how that changes from the two. Um, as you can see, there's some broken windows. There's actually some silver tape up there. No idea what it is. As you can see, there's a fence all around the abandoned part so no one can get too close to it. So we're going to walk down now to what I believe would have been the original part. I believe this is all an add-on. So as we walk down here, because it's a Kirkbride and it's... um bat-shaped wings it will become a bit closer to us but there are trees over here so i think right here is probably the best spot we can get um as you can see there's still screened in porches for patients so that they could go outside but so that they couldn't jump off or hurt themselves um you can see the brickwork very beautiful building great bricks um so, as we walk down here a bit, this building right now that my camera's pointed at, which I hope you can see through all the tree branches, this is actually the working building right now. Um, so, it's hard to see, at least it's hard to see on my small screen on my camera, but that second pair of three windows up there with the stained glass, that's actually right where my room is. Well, it's the hallway where my room is, and then there's this area over here that curves, and it would lead into the abandoned section. Now, sadly, it does seem like they have it blocked off. Um, I did open a door that I believe would have led into there, into that um, curved section that I hope you can see. But sadly, it was, um, the wall was sealed up on the inside, so... So now as we get closer to the center of the asylum, we have the spot where the hotel rooms are. Um, this is the West Wing, which I believe is the women's wing originally. And there's something neat in the grass over there. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty wet out, so we're not going to go there. So, when you get here, you have this little tunnel that goes under. Um, the takes you to the front entrance, which actually is in the basement. And then you have another one of those curved things I was talking about. Now, on this side, the curved thing goes up all three floors. But on the east side, it actually only goes up two floors. Then we have the main building. And we have its beautiful towers. So something interesting that we read when we were checking into the hotel is these towers up here are actually hollow. Um, they serve no purpose other than looks, which is weird to me. Um, there is a ballroom on the fourth floor, which I'm not sure if you can see into the towers from there, but there have been events there um, basically the whole time we've been here. So, here we have one of the entrances. Now, this is actually the entrance into the um, restaurant they have. Oh, and we actually have 
the block here, um, 1872 AD, September 18th, Freemason symbol, and then AL 5872, which I have no idea what that means. So there's actually a ton of buildings near here that are still in use. So, for example, that building over there um, is the Buffalo Psychiatric Center. And then where we started the video at, there is a um, building behind that that is an addiction center. So here is the um, east wing of the asylum. As you can see, the little curved section doesn't go up all the way. It only goes up two floors instead of three. So that means if you somehow are staying in the third floor of the hotel in the east wing, which personally I would imagine they only do if they absolutely need to, um, you have to take one of the curved hallways in the lower floors and take an elevator up because you can't get to the central wing. So I haven't walked down this way yet, so I'm just going to take a quick look at see what the asylum's like on this side. Um, now this place is really cool and interesting since you can just go here and stay here. You get to walk through the halls of the old asylum. I did make a video of the inside. Um, I had to be quiet because it was late at night, so I'm not really sure how well it turned out. But you can definitely go check that out if you want. And hopefully I'm also going to be making a tour of our room and then also later a hotel review. But right now, I'm waiting for my friend to get up who is still sleeping. Okay, so here you can actually get way closer to the screen porches, which is pretty neat. Again, you just have the curved section that separates you from the old asylum and the um, new renovated parts. So, I'm not sure how well it shows up on screen, but there's definitely some issues with the roof over here. I can see it like starting to fall in. Um, this design over here is really weird. So, very interesting. I love all the designs on it. Um, now, I'm going to take it around to the front of the asylum. It's kind of confusing. Um, the hotel entrance is out this way in the front, but I believe that in times when this still was an asylum, that the hotel entrance, or the, sorry, the asylum entrance would have been up front here, where I showed you earlier. So we're just going to walk around and see the other side of it real quick. This is actually my first time seeing the outside in daylight. We did not get here until after the sun went down yesterday. So, I've only seen this in the darkness so far. I will say I really do love these curved sections. Um, and I like these little tunnels, honestly, because if for some reason, you know, you were a patient or like a nurse and you needed to get from one side to the other, and you didn't have these, you'd have to walk through the building or walk all the way around. And this building is massive. It honestly might be bigger than the ridges. So, walk out front. And we have another building over here that's still not renovated. And another curved wall. They really did like the curved walls here. Oh wow, and there's like a direct staircase over here. But of course it's not um, in access right now. Because that part's closed down. Um, oh, and this is actually the office of the Richard... Center Corporation. So that's pretty neat to look at. Um, 
And we're going to keep going this way because I do see part of the building I never saw before. We do have this weird foundation thing over here. Not sure what it is, but it's not much to it. Um, also looking over there, there is another building that is still unrenovated. I originally just like how all these buildings are. Um, this definitely has had a lot more modifications to it than the ridges, or at least the modifications here are more are more different from the original asylum. That's easier to tell. But this whole place is just like a complex. Um, there's so much here. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see well, but you can kind of see into that building over there. Yep. So as we walk this way, there's actually another curved section. Then there's this building that they built. Um, it's also abandoned, pretty obviously. And then across the street is another abandoned building. So like I said, this place is just a huge, massive complex. Um, really, it's very interesting to go and see. And it's a hotel and a restaurant. And you can also just pop in whenever, basically. So definitely go check this out if you're in Buffalo, New York. Um, I'm going to end this video here, even though we didn't really walk around the whole asylum. It's pretty cold out. Um, we have an hour until we have to check out. And I still need to do a room tour video. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, please watch my interior video. I'm not sure how it turned out yet because I haven't got a chance to review any of the files. But hopefully it turned out decent and we'll give you a good look at the inside of this place. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.